As a coach, I see my role mostly as doing a ton of listening and asking a lot of questions. Um, it, it's my job to guide the process. So I get involved with helping the, the teacher identifying the goals of the lesson and we do a lot of exchange uh, back and forth of the long and the short term goals. Uh, always keeping the focus on the mathematics posing those questions that uh, uh, throughout the process of, of the lesson design. Um, and then we get involved in collaborating totally on the lesson um, and I bring in whatever materials that I think might help, um, suggest some ideas and so on, but it ultimately it is the teacher's decision um, on all of those steps. We just work together to talk it out, evaluate the pros and cons, and um, it, it might be questions like, well, what do you really want the students to understand in this part of the lesson or with this particular activity? Or, or what do you think about perhaps doing it this way? Might be a, a, a way of uh, making a suggestion. One big part of, the, of my job is to work with the teacher and uh, whoever else we're collaborating on, the mathematics. So we actually do the problems and try all kinds of different ways of, in this particular case, we, we got the manipulatives out and we tried to find as many different ways that we could see this pattern growing. And we color coded them and we recorded those and trying to anticipate what, where the students might go with this. Um, and so when we get totally grounded in the mathematics that way and it helps to to guide or in uh, the direction of the lesson and make those decisions okay where do you think the students might go with this what might they be able to do what might be pushing it too far um, and then anticipating student responses that was a, a, a big part of it and, and especially potential problems we had lots of discussions about that um, but the most important thing that I see in my role is to empower the teacher to own the process because the, the, the change process is not going to happen unless it's put in their hands. And if we really want mathematics education to change, the teacher is the most important person in this process.